hey guys welcome back to the channel it's katrin and adobe here again with another hairstyle video today i'll be showing you all how i made this beautiful trading hairstyle on adobe so if you're interested in seeing how i made these grab your tools if you're already in the process of making it or grab your popcorn if not and with no further ado let us dive right in I decided to prep her hair off camera to save time so right now i'm patting out the hair for that i'm patting five slant lines all meeting up at the middle in form of a ponytail or i can simply say a ponytail pattern yeah after patting out each section i'll go ahead to put into rubber band although for now the lines are not clear this is a rough pattern because i'll later go in again with my preset comb and my shine and jam to straighten out or clear out the lines So in total, I have five sections here. Now I will begin working on each of them. For this particular one, I will section in between. I will pass out a slant line as well in between. Then I will clean out the line. So you guys, look at my child's hair at the front. It is chopping off gradually and i have been ignoring it for the longest time this is as a result of a product that i'm using i don't know how i didn't figure out this on time but as at the time i'm doing this voiceover i have decided that i'm not going to be using any of the product that i used to make a hair on this particular day so i can know the particular one that is responsible for this and i will let you guys know once i figure that out so next i went on ahead to part out this section that i'm currently working on for that i am using four strands of brazilian wood to braid onto her hair and after braiding i just braided for a bit though after braiding i picked up two strands of the brazilian wood to start trading so you guys for this braiding part you can skip it if your child's hair is long the reason i am braiding before trading is so you know the trading don't slip out is so it is well secured onto her hair considering the fact that her hair is really not that long so if your child have a very long hair you can skip this um, braiding part and just start trading you can trade it either two strands of the brazilian wool or three strands okay I also repeated the same thing for this next one that is because both of them are in front okay i only braided the ones at the front and for this next one at the back i'll be creating in form of a crisscross thing here so i cross over this one at the front and put it onto this middle one then i picked up my two strands of wool to start trading you guys can see that i did not braid on this one before trading that is because they are depending on the two in the front see these two in the front are like a sheet for the rest of this hair so once I, I i braided that one there is no need for braiding the rest considering the fact that i am using the leftover that is the leftover strands from the two in the front to work with the rest of the hair on this particular section and i'm creating this um crisscross illusion here again i pick up the one from this side put onto this side and start trading that is literally how we're going to be doing on this side it's just we are just crisscrossing for this particular um section we just crisscrossing so just keep on watching so you understand everything i am doing here Moving on to this next section, that is this one in the middle. We're going to be creating a different style here, nothing like crisscross here. And for this, I am not patting out any line in the middle like I did the previous one. I just patted, you know, <laughs> I just patted a section that I want to work with, yeah. And I put on my four strands of Brazilian wool. I'll braid for a bit, then start trading with two strands. So when it comes to trading, no matter how long your child's hair is, 
you're not gonna trade till you exhaust her hair just trade for a bit let's say for like two inch and that is enough so moving on i parted out another hair and i traded with two strand for like two circles before i added the first one that i've already traded onto it okay then start trading together i will trade for a while just the same way like the west trade for a bit like two inches and then tie up the ends so you guys i have come to realize that majority of you like a huge percentage of you guys that watch my video are not subscribed to my channel why Please tell me, I want to know, why are you not subscribed? Like, are you not enjoying the content you're seeing? I mean, you've watched this point. So, what is the reason for not subscribing? Please click that subscribe button down below. Yes, that one. And click on the notification bell so you get to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so back to the hair. I just continue with the process. Nothing strange on this particular section. I just continue with the process. And there we have it, the end. I braided it a bit longer than the rest. For this section, I repeated the crisscross pattern just like I did the other side. I traded for like two to three circles and then I added the previous um the previous traded hair onto it, you know, for that whole crisscross vibe. And then I will start trading out. Because this is the last one standing on this line, I will trade out for as long as possible. So moving on, we have one section left. I went on ahead to work on one of the section of camera so we don't slip on the hair, okay? And we are creating the same pattern or the same thing that I did in the middle. That is the one at the front in the middle. We are repeating the same process on it. The same thing I did for this other one on this back section, which was why I didn't bother showing you guys, but this one, you're going to see it again. So you get me better. Okay. So just keep on watching. I'm just going to keep calm. But before that, have you given this video a thumbs up yet? If you haven't, kindly do that now. I will so much appreciate that. So you guys, I want to quickly say something before I forget. A lot of the time, people always come to my comment to kind of almost attack me that I am inflicting pain on a child, you know, stuff like that. And I've always mentioned in my videos how I or how you shouldn't apply pressure when making a child's hair. I don't apply pressure to this cap whenever i'm making my daughter say what's the need for that there is absolutely no need and whenever i am done making this child's hair she's always excited always going about her thing she never show any outer of pain so really your pity and unsolicited advice is not needed at all Tada, we are done. So I went on ahead to cut out the excess with a pair of scissors. I just left the two strands that I use in trading. Okay, I cut off the rest and I left two strands that I use in braiding. And right now I am burning the end with my lighter so it doesn't unravel. And after that, I went on ahead to start folding it down in form of a bun, like I will start bending it down, folding it down, and with those two that I left, like those two strands that I left left on each of them i used it to tie it round see if possible when trading the ends of this hair just trade it a bit more longer if you want your bone to be fuller than my my child's bone just trade the ends longer so your bone can be bigger if you want it bigger yeah i went on ahead to start laying down her edges 
and you guys take a sneak peek at this hair see how gorgeous my child looks it's so pretty how i wish i could make this on myself everything about this hair is giving i just love the ponytail i love how simple it is nothing dangling all over her face just you know nothing on her face actually just simple and i went on ahead to put on this um you know these accessories just to give it some colors and pop so you guys let me know in the comment section will you be trying out this style on your little one it is quite easy you know so you should go for it and that brings us to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed please do that thumbs up if you haven't share this video and see you in my next one bye bye